The continuing change in climate across the world is posing threat to our environment. To prevent cataclysmal change, the world needs to reach its goal to limit global warming and achieve a climate-neutral world by mid-century. Doing so requires a strong mindset. As a country highly vulnerable to climate and disaster risks, with only 0.3% contribution to global greenhouse gas emission, the Philippines recognizes the importance of mitigation measures that promote inclusive growth. Despite this global pandemic and multiple disastrous events like strong typhoons and massive floodings, the Philippines has been recognized for its achievement in the development and utilization of RE. RE accounts for almost a third or 33% of the Philippines' total primary energy supply, way ahead of the regional target of 23% by the year 2025. In the power sector, the Philippines has a total installed capacity of 25.531 gigawatts, of which 29% are from renewables, while on the generation mix, RE shares about 21% of the total energy generation. Since the enactment of RE law in 2008, the RE sector contributed to the country's economic growth, investments reaching approximately $4.35 billion, reducing greenhouse gas emission of approximately 17 million tons of CO2 equivalent and creating 186,418 jobs. The Philippines is blessed with abundant sources of RE resources such as biomass, geothermal, solar, hydro, ocean, and wind. Our RE target capacity is 20 gigawatts by 2040. Indigenous RE resources and private sector investments are central in achieving this vision. We continue to develop and implement market development support mechanisms that will reduce investment risks and empower electricity end users to participate in the national RE development. Among these are the Renewable Portfolio Standards, a mandatory program for sourcing of RE generation. Another is the Green Energy Auction Program, as well as programs to support distributed energy through net metering and the Green Energy Program, where consumers with average of 100 kilowatt per month demand may choose their own RE supply. 100% foreign-owned companies are also now allowed to invest in large-scale geothermal projects to reduce dependence on coal for energy generation. The challenge is to pursue economic development while recognizing and addressing our vulnerability to climate change disasters by mainstreaming climate change adaptation and disaster risk reduction. Through this dialogue, let us continue to work hand-in-hand -hand towards global energy transition that promotes not only clean and sustainable energy, but also inclusive growth. Thank you.